In today's video, I want to show you the glitch. In today's video, I want to show you the glitch effect in Affinity Photo. What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. And if you're new here, my name is Rens. I'm a digital artist from the Netherlands. And today I got an amazing effect for you called the glitch effect. Now, what we're basically gonna do to achieve this effect is we're gonna move one channel a little bit to the left. The other channel stays in place. Basically, we separate colors just a tiny bit. So we get this glitch effect. Personally, I've always loved this effect. And if you watch till the very end, we're gonna make some awesome photo manipulation out of it. Are you ready? I definitely am. Let's go. All right, so we've jumped into Affinity Photo and I found this very awesome image of this deer on Pixabay. So I used the stock panel and I typed in deer and selected Pixabay from the drop down menu. And that's where I found this image. And this is an amazing image to apply the glitch effect on. Now, let me show you what we can actually do with this awesome glitch effect. And actually, this is a very, very simple effect that everybody can do with any kind of picture. Now, first things first, I want to create a duplicate of my layer because I want to have a copy and that this copy is going to function as a background in a bit. So I'm going to press Command J to copy this layer. And there we go. Now let's call this one maybe original. So in case we mess something up, we have this uh, backup, let's say. Now let's select the day layer for now. And what I want to do now is a very simple thing. I want to go to my channels panel. And if you cannot find your channels panel, simply go to view, go to studio and click on channels. And I want to select one of the channels and each channel is gonna give a different effect that I will show you in just a bit. Now let's start off by the red composite layer or the composite red channel. So if I click on this channel, you can see that the, the eye will move to this one and this little pencil will move right over here. And this means that we are actually viewing this channel and we are editing this channel. Now what I want to do is simply move this layer a little bit to the left or to the right. However, this there's one little thing going on and that is if I move with my move tool, so you can see in tool, toolbar I have my move tool selected. If I click and drag this one a little bit to the left or to the right and that is basically how this effect is gonna work. If I uh, disable my channel view, so I go back to RGB view, you can see that actually nothing has happened except that I just move my layer, so the whole layer a little bit to the right and that is not what I want. I only want to move this channel. So let me press command C a couple of times and let's select the red composite layer once again. And what I want to do now is I want to move the layer using filters. Now, the great thing about the last update from Affinity Photo, which is uh, Affinity Photo 1.9, and actually we are now at 1.9.1, .1, is that we can actually apply filters to channels. And this simply makes the whole glitch effect a lot easier. Now, we are in the red composite layer. Let's go to uh, layers and make sure you have the right layer selected. And now go to filters, go to distort, and you can choose any filter that you want or that you like. But in this case, I'm gonna go for a very traditional glitch effect. So I'm gonna go to the select shear. And all I want to do now is drag this one a little bit to the left or to the right, doesn't really matter. And this one as well. So this basically means that the whole image just moved a little bit to the left, let's say. So let me hit apply for now. And now you can see that once I go back to my RGB channel, so I'm activating all the channels by clicking this little arrow icon. Now you can see that we've got a very awesome glitch effect going on. Now, there is something more that we can do to enhance this effect. But before we continue, if you've been getting value out of this video already, don't forget to give it a like. And of course, if you love this type of content, don't forget to smash the subscribe button to never miss any future upload. All right, let's get back into the tutorial. And that is by dragging some blocks of pixels to the left and to the right. But before I do that, I want to show you what other effects we can achieve by using different channels. So I'm going to press Command Z a couple of times to go back to our normal view. I go into the channels and I will select the green composite layer for now. And I go back to filters and I will simply uh, press repeat share or Command F as a keyboard shortcut. And this will basically repeat the filter that I have used last on my green composite layer now instead of the red one. And now you can see if I go back to my original view that we have a whole different glitch effect. So instead of using red and cyan, now you can see that we have a green and magenta glitch effect. 
Now, of course, there's one more channel, which is the blue channel. So I'm going to press Command C a couple of times. I go into my blue composite layer and I'm going to do the same thing. So go to filters and repeat share. Then press this little icon. And now you can see that we've got a glitch effect from blue to yellow. Now, what basically happens is that we move all the blue pixels of one image let's say a little bit to the left and the opposite of blue is yellow so everything that's left when you move the blue out that is going to be yellow pixels so that means that we split the blue and the yellow pixels we split the green and the magenta pixels and we sp split the red and cyan pixels and these are all opposite colors now honestly i like the red and cyan effect the most so i'm going to do the same thing once again with my red composite layer and i'm going to press the little arrow icon right over here and now we have the traditional glitch effect. Now, let's start by enhancing the glitch effect, and that is by moving some blocks of pixels to the left and to the right. So, what I'm gonna do now is simply select my marquee tool, and I actually already selected it by pressing M on my keyboard. And what I want to do now is simply make some blocks. So I make one block right over here, and on a Mac you can hold Control, and this little plus icon will appear, and now I can add to my selection. So I'm just gonna, select some very random blocks let's say maybe this maybe some thin ones maybe all right so we have got some nice blocks going on and what i want to do now is i want to move all these blocks to the left or to the right so how to do this i'm simply going to press v on the keyboard to select my move tool and while holding shift i can press my left or right arrow key so let me press the right arrow key for now and you can see that i will move my um, pixels with increments of five pixels so if i click once while holding shift i move everything five pixels to the right and now you can see that once I press Command D, we've got a very interesting glitch effect going on already. Now we can enhance this even further. So now we have moved everything only to the right. Now if we want to move things to the left as well, we can do the same thing. So make a selection and hold Command, make some random selections. Maybe it's I and this part and right over here. And it doesn't really matter if you overlap with your old or with the other... Um, let's say blocks of pixels that you've created because this is just gonna enhance the effect, let's say. So that now we have a nice selection. We're gonna do the same thing. Press V on the keyboard and hold shift and move this two clicks to the left. So I'm just holding shift, press the left arrow key twice and then I press command D. Now, if you want to take this a step further, there's one more filter that you can add to all of this to make it look even more interesting. And that is by adding a, what is it called? Halftone filter, I guess. So with my dear layer selected, I actually want to make a duplicate first. So I'm gonna select my dear layer. I'm gonna press Command J to create a duplicate. I'm gonna to go to filters. I'm gonna to go to colors. And then I want to select halftone. Now, this is a very cool filter and you can see that now we have our screen set to monochrome and the dot set to cosin, or I'm not really sure how to pronounce it. But what I want to do is I want to set the screen to line and that gives this, let's say, television kind of look. So something like this. So it's basically like we're looking at an old television and you can choose the angle that you want, but I like to keep it horizontal. And you can, use the, you can choose the contrast. So if you go very low, you see that these lines are very fake. And if you go very high contrasting, it's basically just black and white. Now I will go somewhere in between. So let's say something 50 and let's hit apply. So I'm gonna press apply, press command zero to sum out. And there we go. Now we have two layers on top of each other. One is the half tone layer and the other one is our glitch layer. And I basically want to kind of merge these two together by changing the blend mode. So I'm gonna go into my blend modes and I'm simply gonna check out one blend mode that like, looks most interesting to me. And that is probably gonna be overlay or soft light or that something like that. And I think I will go for soft light in this case. And I just want to reduce the opacity a whole lot. So let's go for 35 or something. And it kind of looked like the old VHS television lines, let's say. So this is before our half tone and this is after the half tone. And you can see that we have got these very awesome glitch effect for this deer. Now, if you love this video, then there's a very high chance that you will also love this video. Of course, don't forget to give this video a like and let me know in the comments what you think of this effect. All right, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Ciao, ciao.